Hello YouTubers. So, um I decided to make this video because I have a well, I had a problem that I kept running into. Um I kept having to purchase new Roku devices because my children lose the remotes and then they're useless without the remotes. Um I did find the app, but the app only works if both the the phone and the device are connected to the same internet. Um, I ran into the, that problem and had to buy another device just for the remote, of course. And, of course, that one's lost, too. So, um, I recently came into the problem that uh, I switched internet companies. And I completely forgot that my Roku remote's not going to work now. So, um, I pulled up a bunch of videos. Some were saying to connect the box directly to the internet. My device doesn't have a cable con to connect directly to the internet. I only have... Uh, an HDMI cord, the three colored cords, and the power cord. So there was no connecting it to the internet. So I did some other reading, looked into some other stuff, and I found a way that actually did work. My dog is fighting me for some cheese. Um, so what you do is, if you have hotspot on your phone, what you do is you want to turn on your hotspot... And this will only work if you know the network your device was connected to. So fortunately, I still had my previous router information. And I went on my phone hotspot and I put my router information in that my Roku device was connected to. Um, my old information went in on my device, turned on my Wi-Fi. And usually up here, you see where the time is. It was saying not connected because my old internet was no longer here. But once I put, turned it on the hotspot, you put the same username, same password as if you were looking up your old internet, and the not connected went away. So we basically tricked it into thinking that was the internet. After we did that, I used my husband's phone on the Roku remote, connected to my hotspot, and then from there I went to settings and changed it to my new internet, and that worked perfectly fine. So I just wanted to give some people that heads up. Um... If you don't know your previous internet name and password, because I, I never changed it. It was whatever originally came with my device. Um, it was a very weird name, but it was still written on my previous device, so I just copied it down from there. Um, hopefully this video helps you out. Like it, please, and thank you.